What's up, everybody? Yo. We are actually garage selling together. Yeah. Uh, in the last five months, this is only the second time we've garage sailed <laughs> together. Um, mainly my fault. I was gone during the uh, summer for tours, but then Jeez. he moved, so now he's farther yeah. away. And there was a nuclear accident where all of his hair fell off. It's, all gone. it's been an interesting couple of months. Out garage sale, though, there's a sale. I don't know if you can move my head. Right back over there, mainly all, like, women's clothing. But you always stop and ask because in a bin of clothing, there was a pink DSi with a crap ton of games. Mostly, like, little kids games, some girl games. But still, there's, like, 20-something games in there in the system oh, with the little charger. Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid's in there. It was uh, 10 bucks for the whole dealio. It's not bad. We've only hit up two or three sales yeah. so far, so we're, we're early out. Uh, we're gonna find everything. I feel it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Jeremy's got a little friend down his crotch it's area. It's Mr. Penguin, man. He bought a blow mold penguin. That's awesome. <laughs> for, for two dollars. It's pretty big, actually. <laughs> it keeps coming. Uh, he's into blow molds now. It's become a thing. Christmas, man. Cr well, Halloween ones, too. Yeah. You got... Yeah, uh, like three Halloweens when they're all found in the garbage by my dad. <laughs> Jeremy actually has uh, been putting up... Well, he put up one video again so far. He's he's kind of come back to YouTube. Uh, don't sniff its ass. And then uh, he has another one coming soon. Yeah. And it's going to have more blow molds in it. Probably. Check out... The, now, now you're Mr. Blow Mold. Oh, God. <laughs> At the uh, sale right behind me for 10 bucks. Two Game Cubes, a bunch of controllers, and a Mario Baseball. It's not bad. Not bad. Uh, she said they both work, so that's cool. Um, only one set of cables. Uh, one power cable, one AV, and the controllers aren't in the best shape. But I, I mean, I can't really complain for 10 bucks if I have two working Game Cubes and a Mario Baseball game. Right over at this wonderful yard sale, which I've bought video games from before, but all they had was a box of Skylanders, so I, I did not buy any of those. What'd you get, Jeremy? Uh, Peter Fox, I guess, memoir or something. It's oh. Columbo. Ooh. I got this Barry Larkin, cool, like, ball. And then this one is Captain Crunch's Home Run Crunch. A little cool promotional. Ah, those were about a buck each. Yeah. Two Hello. balls for two dollars. Hell yeah. That sale right over there. Jeremy got a dinosaur. <laughs> oh, makes noise. Sweet T Rex. And I got dust. <laughs> dust covered NES games, Locker. but buried in there. Find it. Sweet. Where is it? So, oh, there it is. A top loader <laughs> with uh, there's a dog bone down there somewhere. The GameCube controller. A Buckaroos, an off brand GameCube controller. There's. Uh, what is that? It was a man. snake rattle and roll. We're getting you down in there. Look at that. There's like plastic Yoshi. pieces. There's the dog bone in a regular There's one. part of the zapper. Yeah, it's a whole. Oh no. Oh yeah, someone took apart a, a gray zapper apparently. Oh, they anyway. took it off of this one. Oh, okay. So, uh, 20 bucks for this bin of dusty Nintendo goodness that's falling everywhere. How much was your dino? A dollar. You always gotta go garage sailing around Thanksgiving time. Not on the weekend after Thanksgiving. The yeah. weekend before Thanksgiving has always been great for us. Spent another dollar at that bright, glaring white sale. There we go. Right over there. I bought a Spyro Missing the Manual Greatest Hits on PS Uno. And you got a Dose. And you I spent got Dose. Two dollars. On vinyls. It's beautiful. He thinks he already has it, but a uh, condition upgrade. Yeah, yeah. This is the vinyl guy. Yo. Jeremy got a nice little score of stuff. Uh, Snoopy. Was that three bucks? Yeah. This little Tommy Fan bobblehead for a dollar. Uh, Devil Rays. Or, sorry, just just the Rays, not the Devil. This Kellogg's. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. That was, what, ten bucks? Yeah. Nice. That's dope. Jeremy's oddities, for sure. <laughs> Jeremy's got a Spice Girl stuck in his head now. Uh, we're at Goodwill. Yeah. Goodwill had some Spice Girls dolls. He did not buy them, unfortunately. But picked up a Tomb Raider Underworld strat guide for a dollar. Not bad. And then three Wii games for Wii what? Sports. Two eighteen each. They got their stickers on there. Wii Sports. Uh, Mario Resort. Party 8. Mario Party 8. And Smash Bros. Good old Smash. Yeah, uh, this Goodwill has been good. Oh, sorry for the pun. But um, recently I picked up some GameCube games here uh, about two weeks ago. Uh, Star Fox, like Assault. I forgot what the other one was. But anyways, I've, I've had some good finds recently. On Saturday is at like 10.30. Like, where are the people? Yeah. You're supposed to be buying this stuff before me because I don't get out as early. So, anyways, good, 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 good will. Yeah. So, we're back at the house. We're showing some things that Jeremy picked up, but we haven't uh, shown you guys yet. To Papa Stubbs. 
Yeah. He's gonna, gonna go to the beach. The boogie, I guess. He's gonna uh, go to the beach. Anyways, we got the boogie board, loading, it, loading the other van, one van to the other. We already saw that stuff. Look, look. This is awesome. He got cereal shit. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's rare. He actually said it's cool. Another, Another dumb bobblehead. Yeah. Those are five <laughs> shitty rays. <laughs> Those are five bucks easy. Got a blow mold, kind of. Oh, the penguin. Look at that. It's a penguin. It's just a penguin. I don't even know if it's like officially a blow mold. I don't think you can light it up, but you know, it's a penguin. And then you got a T-Rex. And then he got a book he's going to pretend he can read. That's cool, right? This for D. The, oh, wait, what'd you get for D? Uh, Dave the Diesel. D from D Dave, the YouTube channel. Uh, he loves Thomas the Tank Engine. An upgrade on God stuff. It's like conditional shit. He's very excited about that. Yeah, he's only got me in the God stuff. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, this is pretty dope. <laughs> Keeping that, right? Yeah. That piqued his interest. Cabin Crunch. Baseball. And Barry Larkin. Huh? Two Skyline baseballs. No, oh, no. wait. That was a whole dollar he spent. So what, what do you now think? we can put this shit on the crap we already have at home. Yeah, it's a double... The garage is filled. <laughs> we just moved into a new place. The garage is full of his crap. And the sunroom. Right? The sunroom? Yeah. Yeah, it's screened in little sunroom that you can sit out there. Nobody can sit out there. Jeremy sucks. Because there's too much shit. <laughs> and you can't have a yard sale because... Nobody wants to pay prices down here. <laughs> and you said we set up at the flea market. You know what an abortion that was. <laughs> so, so all good news all around. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. Well, Merry Christmas. Thank you. What are you filming again for? <laughs> all right. I have uh, some more stuff to show you guys that I picked up at a few pawn shops. Yeah. Cool stuff. Cool stuff, and a few other things from earlier this week. So more to come in this video. But we got to say bye. 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 I just realized that the video I've been filming today is probably not going to be up on YouTube for another week, maybe two weeks, so I at least wanted to finish filming the stuff that I got today, and then all of the other stuff that I have uh, to put in this video, myself and Katie will film next week or something like that. Anyways, uh, these are pawn shop finds from today, uh, two Cash Americas and I think a Pawn Max uh, Monopoly Streets on the Xbox 360 for two bucks out of Cash America. These were from Pawn Max. Uh, two PS4 games, Black Ops 3, 3, no, 4, Black Ops 4, I wouldn't have paid $10 for Black Ops 3, paid $10 for Black Ops 4, and 10 bucks for the Sims 4 bundle with the uh, Cats and Dogs expansion, and then my favorite Cash America to go to, um, because they've always given me deals, and there's a couple of, like, acquaintances I have that work there now, for... 15 bucks, I got an Xbox One controller. They had 20 on it. He took five bucks off. And four PS4 games. These are the prices they had on them, but they ended up, he always does five bucks. Unless it's very rare occasion, PS4, Xbox One games are always five dollars uh, from him at least. Seven Days to Die, Monster Hunter World, uh, Kingdom Hearts 1.5, 2.5, Remix, <laughs> HD Remix. And then uh, Mortal Kombat XL, and I even got, got the receipts right here uh, with how much I paid for those to, to show that he, you know, discounted from the sticker price. Anyways, okay, so now that's the end of today's footage, but here's some more from in the future. Well, it's been about a week and a half since uh, the earlier footage you just watched. Uh, it's been busy, obviously, Thanksgiving, that kind of stuff. This is the only day off uh, I think we both have together this week, so we're gonna get this done. Yep. So, uh, uh, kitty cat, check. Got that, got Katie, that's two. Oh, There's a gone. cat butt over here, I don't know, here. Just come say hi for a sec. Oh, Otep, Otep She is... doesn't make very many appearances in the video. No, she's usually off to the side, but she is honestly the most friendly of all of our cats. Anybody yeah. that comes over, she is always right in their face, <laughs> meowing. On her lap, shedding all yeah. over them. There you go, go back to sleep in your pillow. Anyway, um, I already, I already, sh oh, she's going to come out. Now that I touched her, she's going <laughs> like, to come. Oh, wait. What? <laughs> so I showed um, pretty much all like the pawn shop finds and all the other things earlier in the video, but I did want to show you that uh, with those game cubes, oh, the ten of the cats on here makes it really fun. With those game cubes, um, the controllers were really gross, and uh, I cleaned them up and actually replaced the uh, little analog stick, the thumbsticks there on both of them 
Uh, picked up new sticks for a buck a piece at M&M. Uh, and I cleaned the Platinum GameCube. There's cat ass. The Platinum GameCube had like uh, some jammed buttons on it, the reset button stuff, so I fixed those. Um, so now they are a lot better than they were when I got them. But 10 bucks for two GameCubes, the black one's in there. It had three controllers. Uh, I traded the micro controller into uh, M&M. That also needed a new thumbstick, but different thumbsticks, unfortunately. <laughs> so it's a small. Yeah, the smaller one. Yeah, thank you. That's that weighs a lot. GameCubes are hefty things. I remember... That's why they have that big ass animal. Yeah, so you can kill people with it. <laughs> um, I, a long time ago, working uh, at one of the game stores, either EB or Babbage's or whatever it was, we had a broken one, and uh, we took it out in the parking lot and chucked it like 30 feet in the air just to see like how durable it was. And the only thing that popped off on it was the front, the top jewel, which you can pop off anyway and like <laughs> take off. The thing would not like break. Obviously, it was still broken. It didn't fix itself. That no, was not a way to fix. fix it. No, I realize I have my hood on. It's staying on now because I'm not starting yeah. this over. And my hair is probably gross <laughs> underneath this, so it's gonna be the hooded <laughs> episode. Gross. It'd just be messy. I don't even know if you can see Oodle. The thing, the camera cuts off probably right, right around there, but. Uh, then those that Nintendo. But she's gonna make it difficult. She's gonna make it difficult. Um, the top loader, I was, I realized that it had been since we lived in our old house. I've only found top loader NES systems at garage sales a few times ever in the last decade at least. And, uh, the last time I found two at one sale, and they were super cheap there also, but. Why did they have two? Uh, brothers. Oh. Yeah, the grandma had bought. One for each. Mm -hmm. And then they had like five dog bone controllers, and I bought a ton of stuff. It was like 6.30 in the morning, one of the earliest times I ever went out, right in our old neighborhood, and picked up all that stuff for like, I want to say it was under 100 bucks. It was like 50 bucks the first time I went, and then like 50 bucks the second time or somewhere around there. But this is like one of the few times... Oh, cat But Why is your tail all fluffy? She's... Ooh. She's attacking something. Uh, um, technically, this broke down to... A dollar and change that this ended up being because there are, I should count real quick, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen games, and then the you know, dog bone controller, a zapper gun, and a regular controller, and the power cable's in there. So it's like a dollar and change if you just include the games in the system, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how I always like to break down my pickups in case, you know... This was 20 bucks, this bin, but I look at it as, well, what did I pay for each item? And especially when, like, even, like, the worst games in here are, are at least a $5 item or something like that, then a buck each is fine. But we had, like, Yoshi here. Uh, try, just throw them on the f Don't f lightly. Just throw them on the floor. Them. Batman, Mario 2. It's all of, like, the, oh, duh, yeah, of course they're going to be in there. Mario 3, Tetris 2, Tiny Toons, uh, Adventure of Link... Castle Quest, Pac-Man, Mario Duck Hunt, uh, World Class Track Meet. Is that a cat or a game falling? <laughs> game maybe falling. <laughs> Snake Rattle and Roll, Kirby's Adventure, Monopoly, and there's like probably the, the poopiest one out of the bunch. Uh, and Little Mermaid, and then the Mermaid. most obscure one. Little Mermaid. I bet you it's really hard. It's not. It's not. No, no. The Little Mermaid's actually a pretty fun. Uh, Disney Capcom. Capcom put out a lot of good Disney games there. I should play it. Uh, and then the most obscure one was Ren and Stimpy Buckaroos, which this actually had the poster and the manual in the, bo in the bottom of this bin. The only manual that was even in here, and they were ones that I didn't have. I, I need a box still, but I had just a cart for this game, so I threw those into the game room. That's why they're not here. But anyway, so yeah, 20 bucks for that whole bin, a dollar and change for a top loader NES with the matching, with, with the dog bone. That was great. Um... Then, that's it. I think now that is the wrap-up of the garage sale stuff, you know, pawn shops, all that stuff from this video. Uh, I had a very interesting, this was a couple weeks ago, but I hadn't shown it yet. Uh, someone contacted me that their cousin had picked up, or no, their cousin had a Master System and some boxed games that he had picked up from him. I guess it was sitting in their house for, whatever, a couple decades and uh, one of the, as he put it, it was like one of those treasures that you just come across and find. And he didn't want it and wanted to know if I was interested in it. And I was like, for sure, there was some good games in there. Uh, 32X is not something that I frequently come across. 
nor is it something that I frequently have people asking for. Like, do you have any 32X games? <laughs> yeah. Not not a big uh, following out there compared to a lot of the other stuff that I do, like, sell and trade. But he said 100 bucks, and it was an obvious, like, no-brainer, because one of the things that <laughs> was the, the no-brainer was it, the rental case for a 32X, and... I'm assuming that it is... Well, you can obviously tell it's missing a few things that would have been in there, like the power cord. Um, but I would have to... I'm gonna, I'd have to look up online to try to find out, like, exactly, like, what filled these two little holes in the front, and, uh... Was it, oh, like, a memory card, or...? Might, maybe... No, it wouldn't have been controllers. No, um... I thought maybe controllers at first, but it had, like, one of its cables in there, and the little metal connector pieces, and a 32X is in there, but, um... Just the case alone is so obscure. I would say that out of all of the rental cases, PS2, N64, all that, 32X has to be one that one of the lower end ones that was not plentiful out in stores. And it's in great ca- uh, great case. It's in great, great. shape. It's in a great case. <laughs> um, and it's yeah, it's not dirty. It's not beat up. The clasps on the top are still there. And uh, we have some games. I'm going to show. I'm going to give them to Katie, and we'll let Katie uh, name them for you. Oh boy. They're all easy ones. Space Barrier. Uh, that's one of the better ones in this lot. Star Wars Arcade. You have to make a sound effect after each one. Metalhead. That's not a sound effect, but close enough. It's, a, it's an action. Oh, we'll it's take. like a robot. Yeah. Your favorite. Katie's not a huge <laughs> fan of robots. Not really. Doom. Ah, monsters. Yeah, that's, that's exactly. When they, when they were created Doom, they went, Doom, ah, monsters. <laughs> For sure. Now, this is actually pretty hard to find complete on the 32X. WWF Raw. I was surprised by that. rudest and roughest. I did not. What's the noise for that? Um. There you go. Uh, I did did not uh, think that that would have been one of the more obscure ones. Uh, These two are ones I did not have in my collection complete in the box. Brutal. Above the claw. There you go. I was looking at the animals. They want to look, too. It has animals on it, so she got distracted. I got distracted by the animals. Uh, another kind of hard-to-find one on there. It has a like, crease down the front of the box, but it's it's still in pretty decent shape. They, yeah. they saw it. They're good. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Cosmic Carnage. Another. What's the noise? Uh, Ooh. Oh, that's a robot. It's another, it's another robot noise? That sounds like a squeaky hinge on a cabinet. <laughs> And the last one was the best out of the slot for sure, especially with it being only a hundred bucks for everything. Calibri. Calibri, which the team it's that. So pretty. Yeah, what's the noise? Um, it's a hummingbird. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Literal sense of hum. I was gonna. Uh, yeah, the like that. It's like team that made the the Echo the Dolphin. Um, it's a shooter, which is cool, and you're a hummingbird and you shoot crap you're as you're shooting. flying around. So. Nectar out of your beak. <laughs> I don't know if that's... Does it say that? I don't honestly know what they're saying is coming out of his his beak. But it doesn't look no, like nectar. Thinking. It looks like bullets or blobs of Feel light. Feel the rush. Okay. Uh, then, while she reads that, um, then all this other stuff is just random pickups, trades, stuff that I've done either on Facebook, locally in the area, or at the flea market. Uh, I have been looking for the JoJo's Bizarre Adventures games. Uh, I've gotten two of the three that I've been looking for now, um, just in the past like week and a half. Uh, we have the PS3 Jo. What are you giggling about? It just about? says <laughs> his weapon is a laser, ring of fire, and smart bomb. Okay, so not <laughs> nectar. Not nectar. At least from not any normal flowers. Uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure: The All Star Battle on the PS3. And then JoJo's Bizarre Adventure on the PS1. Still need the Dreamcast version. Um, if you have it and you don't want it anymore, let me know and I could buy it or trade something to get it, it from like you. She's missing a nose. Like yeah, she lost. Thing. She lost it in the battle. Uh, another very hard to find Dreamcast fighting game, Project Justice. This was actually an interesting pickup because I was messaging somewhere. I was online looking for a copy of this. Noticed the person lived in my area, messaged them, turned out to be someone that I've sold games to before, so we met up locally in a parking lot, um, ooh, cat fight, and, uh, we, and then he sold it to me, so he sold, he took about 20 bucks off, I think it was like 20 bucks off of what he was selling for online, because he didn't need to, no, no, no flashy, flashy, didn't need, he didn't need to, uh, you know, ship it or anything like that, so, 
A uh, couple things I got the flea market from Crazy K. Oh, uh, what, third, third or fourth cat? Here's the fourth cat. You got all four cats in one video. That means we give away a car. No. Um, <laughs> Toy Story 2 on the Dreamcast and a strategy guide for Tales of Destiny 2. These came from Crazy K. Um, traded a couple PS1 games to him and it included other stuff too but these were in there. The PS1 games that he got was a Greatest Hits of Castlevania Symphony of the Night and Marvel vs. Capcom I think were the two that he got from me. Um, but like I said there was I got some uh, actual money from him and a few other games like some Pokemon games to still sell. And then some PS2 uh, oddities and not so oddities. <laughs> um, Silent Hill 2 Greatest Hits. There's very few Greatest Hits that I want in the collection mm -hmm. uh, ever, and um, that's because you know I like to have all the original prints of stuff. But sometimes Greatest Hits have the extra content, and you might be saying, if you know me at all, like how do you not own every single Silent Hill thing ever? Ever, no matter what. I did own this. I did have it, but my side spine at some point was getting very light and faded. And I don't ever remember it being that way, but I noticed it over... This one even kind of... Kind of light, but the other one was almost like, like pinkish. Pink, yeah. So I don't know if the printing on these was just kind of crappy, and then mm -hmm. mine was like a, a worse printing version of it, but um, the PS2 Greatest Hits version has the extra, extra content included that was on the original Xbox Restless Dreams version, and they didn't make a non-Greatest Hits version that had it on the PS2. So that's the only way to get this extra content is a Greatest Hits version. Uh, we have Guilty Gear X2, which is the last Guilty Gear game I needed for PS2. Um, this was a garage sale find, but not by me, actually. That so, same thing that um, Guilty Gear was. They came from the same lot. He picked them up for a dollar each. Had some other PS2 games in there as well. But Marvel vs. Capcom 2... One of the higher-end uh, PS2 titles, and definitely one of the higher-end fighting, fighting titles on the PS2. Uh, a dollar at a garage sale. Um, he ended up selling both of those to me for 40 bucks, so I would say about half of the value of what they go for. I was still very happy with that, you know, so thank you, man. Uh, Kurt, if you're watching this. Uh, guy I went to high school with, actually, and uh, I've known for a long... Actually, I, knew, I, I might even go to middle school with him, but I've known him for a long time. And then these three all came at the same time. One pickup. We have Graffiti Kingdom and Magic Pingle, which are both uh, Taito games, but... They have very similar looks <laughs> yeah. to them. Yeah, uh, different, like, teams, obviously. Like, probably they worked on them, though. But they do, they are very similar-looking games in the sense of they're art games. You can draw pictures. You can design uh, characters and creatures you can see on the back like the covers are or the back covers are actually pretty similar too um, but uh, I've had a copy of Magic Pingle in a box with no manual they have to I mean they're even made like yeah the yeah the, the words Graffiti King of the Magic Pingle are even in the same like built with wood yeah. structure on them like, yeah nailed so together, they're, they are definitely linked in, in some form like I said they're both made by Taito but one was a different, uh, what was it, Hot B? That sounds gross. That sounds like a nasty sex move. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but anyways. Uh, and then Parappa the Rapper 2, a really pretty clean version. And I think that's it, guys. Um, oh, there's nothing there. That's it, yeah. Uh, so thank you for watching. Thank you. Again, don't know when the next yeah. video is. This is the one of the best times of year for garage sales around our area. Not the weekend after Thanksgiving. It's no. a garbage one. I didn't even right. go, but it's because yeah. everyone's out shopping at the you know the malls or on at home on Amazon. They're not doing a garage sale, um, so that that weekend I didn't even go. But the weekend before, which is where all this stuff came from, you just watched, and then the next like two weekends should be really good. So hopefully we'll get at least one, maybe two more videos before I head off in January for the tours. <laughs> so. Any Video. Vig videos. So thank you all for watching. Uh, love you all. Say bye. Bye. Peace. Peace.